The head of the table, the needle turner, the man with the most busted ability. Drum rolls, ladies and gentlemen. Obito Uchiha. Where do we start with this man? I know everybody say, hey, Itachi, Itachi, Itachi. No, Obito Uchiha is the best freaking Uchiha. Don't get me wrong. I love Itachi. An awesome design. Madara, same thing. Awesome design. This man is the best Uchiha. Obito was the main antagonist of Naruto. Without Obito, there would be no freaking Naruto. Check out some of the feats of this man. Obito slaughtered a group of Jonin Miss Ninjas by himself with little to no effort took the mantle of uchiha madara and everybody believed it people trembling scared shaking in their boots he always wanted to be the hokage this man was the hokage of the hidden miss village took control of the nine tails in his youth with not two but one sharingan obito took on the entire leaf village by himself while there were two hokages employed at the time maybe lord third hokage was in retirement and you know we was transitioning the fourth but two at the same time obito fought the fourth hokage by himself as a youth yeah i was in the comments theorizing along with the rest of the world of who toby was at that time and we said back then oh wow there's no way obito could have did this no way he did that good against minato quick spoiler alert now that we know who toby is the narrative has changed. Obito got wrecked by the fourth Hokage. Dude, the man was still a youth. Bro, stop the downplay on this man. We're not even close to being done on what this man did. Can we get into what the fourth Hokage did for a second? This man fought the Rakage and Killer B at the same freaking time and bested those guys. Fought 1,000 Shinobi on his own and walked away and went home and ate a bowl of cereal. I met Kishimoto personally and I can confirm this. I'm just playing. I'm just freaking playing. Okay, that's not canon. Don't take that seriously. This is what the fourth Hokage did. The yellow flag. So Obito took on this man by himself and even at the end of the day Obito still got the job done because the fourth Okage and Kushina died. They still died. The village was wrecked. Hey, you can call me a fanboy. You can call me whatever you want to. I am a fanboy. But the truth is the truth. So now we're in the war. He took on some of the finest shinobi in Naruto. Guy, no gates. Kakashi, Naruto, powered up. I mean, beefed up Naruto. Killer B. Couldn't touch my man. They figured out his jutsu. Stabbed in the heart by Kakashi to remove the mark. Became the Jinchuriki host of the Tentails. Hold on, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Got the Jinchuriki stripped. That's death. Automatic death. Performed the rebirth jutsu. That's death again too bad they never gave obito the chance to have a son because my good man you would be awesome but no 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 no. my man got up stood toe to toe side by side with kakashi stripped madara of some more sage chakra teleported with kamui <laughs> Come on, man. The durability on this guy, dude. The durability on this man is implausible, dude. There's nobody with as much durability. No one. Think of any character with that much durability. We got Kaguya. <laughs> the mother of all freaking everything. The mother of all chakra. Just everything, bro. I still prefer Madara being the main villain. Uh, Kaguya, she was all right. This man was able to use his teleportation jutsu to go to her dimension, which draw so much freaking chakra. The amount of chakra it took bro it will probably take 10 uzumakis to conjure up that much chakra <laughs> to do that is like i said implausible bro it's no description no label you can put on this obito did it not once not twice three or four times eyes bleeding he's still doing it kagi got down to the point where i you know i can't take this anymore i gotta figure out something to get rid of these guys my man sacrificed himself for naruto sasuke obito and kakashi in a foot race <laughs> Ren, I'm coming home, baby. The needle that was meant for Kakashi, Obito teleported it off. Took his needle and took five to ten minutes. He told the whole story before he disintegrated. After he disintegrated, he met up with Ren. Said, hey, hold on, hold on real quick. Hold on. I gotta go back. I believe the White Fane was a true hero. Those who abandoned even one of their friends are worse than scum. Kakashi still need me. Came back from the dead. Gave Kakashi both of his sharing guns. So this man is still in the fight. He may not be physically in the fight, but his eyes are. <laughs> 
boy do? And on top of that, went back with the girl. Bro, how many people can cause that much destruction and still have a happy ending? Obito Uchiha, hands down, the best freaking Uchiha in Naruto. Probably one of the best characters in Naruto besides Naruto himself. Believe it. There's no argument. And to debunk that whole Obito was a simp thing, bro, chill. He didn't start a whole war because Kakashi killed Rin or Kakashi let Rin die. No, he was just always let down. Rin did die, of course. Kakashi didn't fulfill his promise. No, he felt let down by the Hokage because he wasn't there to protect Kakashi and Rin, you know, when they were surrounded by the Mish Jonin. You know, the world just let the man down and he was brainwashed by Madara on top of that. So, the guy is awesome. Squad out.